Carter. Look at the spin of the paint. Hangs in the air. Pass tip, but got it to Schaefer. He'll pull up from 17 and bury him from the left side. Sean, look at a curl around. Right back over to Schaefer here on the right-hand side. He'll attack baseline. Pull up jumper is up and caught for Taylor Schaefer. They get the two, and they tie it at six. Schaefer here on the right side. He'll spot up. He'll fire a deep three. That's good for Taylor Schaefer. Mitchie with the lead, Schaefer attacking left side, he'll put up another tough shot, but bank it on the left baseline, Taylor two for two. So they have another right baseline, right wing rather, now Schaefer will fire three from the top of the key and smash it. Osmond's to the right side, coming off the screen, looking to attack left side, going back to a cut, there's Schaefer, teardrop, go for Taylor Schaefer. And Sean coming off the screen, here he is at the free throw line, kicks it left baseline, Schaefer fires a tough three and buries it anyway. 14, now Condon kicks over to Schaefer, wide open three, left baseline is up and gone for Taylor Schaefer. Taylor off the bounce, here he is, pull up tough, jumper, got it anyway. Delmore leaves it for Bartlett. He'll go up with the lay-in. Kiss off the glass. Collin with four points. Delmore here on the left baseline. Good shovel to Bartlett. Who will go up and dunk? Dunk it. Collin Bartlett with a big dunk. Is a Brueggemann off the screen. He'll attack left. Get a nice tag. What a idea from Ryan. Inside, now ball tipped by Ryan Brueggemann. Amber is trying to run it down. Brueggemann dies for it, spins, and we got a jump ball. What hustle from Ryan Brueggemann. Now the ball poked away by Brueggemann. He steals it, going after Warwick. Layup up, and that is good. Ooh, could have been an end one. And then a steal in the backcourt by Brueggemann on the inbound. Inbound comes into Brueggemann, jumper right, baseline is good. 21 for Brueggemann. Right there, Lee, you gotta know he's left-handed. Now Brueggemann, good scooping layup the other one. In and out, no good, rebound kept alive. Mitch with the board, pump fake, shot blocked by Pollard. Brueggemann, foul, bucket goal! It's just ferocious underneath everybody. Up the floor, come the Mustangs. Brueggemann into the front court, 304 to play. Ryan attacks, he'll kick out, Condon, now Bartlett, Joey, gives it back to Brueggemann, left baseline, three is up and going for Ryan Brueggemann. Michael coming off the bounce, over to the right wing, Brueggemann fakes the three, runs by Flack, got caught it there but leaves it for Lee, he's wide open, he'll fire a three right wing and hit! The air lobs it here to Brueggemann, Brueggemann pull it pass, back door cut, Lee, layup, go! Michael off the bounce, a good attack, stops, maybe a little travel, he'll turn around eight footer, nice shot from Michael Lee. That was silky too, a turn around, a little mini fade to it as well, nothing but that. Low Bartlett, Bartlett backs down, Pollard kick out, Condon, Brueggemann extra pass, Lee wide open triple, left baseline is cold. Tates gives it to Wikes, Josh going down, back to our cut, Lee reverse layup up and in. Gives it to Kirk, hands it off to Drew. Drew on top of the key, wants to go down left side of the lane, bounces it to Moen, turn it to attack in the air, and just wills it in over the cylinder. Oops. Mustangs have never led. Here's Moen. Moen, pump fake, step through, layup, up, and go! What an up and under move from Turner Moen as well, and you hear... Comes it down to Wegg. Wegg facing Steinbron, wants to back him down, kick out. Moen, he'll fire a three from the top of the key. That's go for Turner Moen. Lumps it down to Manley. Ball tipped up in the air, stolen by Bartlett. Joey fires it ahead to Moen. Turner going to go up for the layup. It is up and go. You worse than that. Brueggemann bounces it to Moen. He'll go up for the layup and it makes it. Middle of the floor. 
to a streaky Moen layup good. Awesome. Shooting the three-pointer. Moen backs down Pollard. Good power move from Turner up and in. Off Condon, Condon on top of the key, attacks right side, leaves it for Kirk, and another huge dunk for Carter Kirk. Beautiful steal by Sean into the front court here on the far side of the floor. Look at the attack going up, layup is no good. Kirk with the ball, put back. He's all the way over to the left, hands off Moen. Turn it down the left side, he'll go scoop layup, no good. Carter Kirk with the dunk. It's just uh, what Crookston does, normally they go slow, look out, Carter Kirk, buckle up, another huge dunk. Picks up his dribble, looking for anybody now, dumps it down to Kirk. Kirk with a great seal. Picked up by Brueggemann. Brueggemann in the front court here. Mavericks recovered beautifully, so not really a fast break. Now bounces to Carter, goes up with a dunk, and one! What a dish and finish by the big bat! Brueggemann into the front court, 16-13 in favor of Southwest. Brueggemann pass over to Bartlett, good catch, and finish with the left hand. We lead 2-0, now Critchley lost the basketball, gets it ahead of Bartlett. Joey will go up and lay it in. On the left side, 49-48 in favor of the Wolves, 18 in minutes and change left to go. Joey Bartlett with a steal, Buckle the left, he goes up for the one, and it flops. Pass Bowen, spins, tries to step through, kick out Bartlett. Joey will fire a three over Fuqua, that's good for Joey Bartlett. Ty Condon, Sean dumps it down to block Bartlett, Joey goes up strong, layup is good. Bobs it into Bartlett here on the right side wing, he'll fire a three, that's good for Joey Bartlett. Drew spins, shovels it to Bartlett with a bump. Comes here on the right side, spins out of pressure, right baseline, pull up jumper is no good, rebound, Dog is down for Joey Bartlett. And that's why they love playing on Hawaiian night. Drew, looking to attack, on the way down left side, he'll go scoop layup, that's good. Nice take by Drew. Looking to attack, had a poked way, gets it back, right back over to Drew, he'll fire an open three, that's cool for Drew Osmondson. Right side Osmondson, left open, he'll fire a three and a half for Drew Osmondson, lead back to Southwest, 6-4. 35%. Osmondson, it was on the way, going right at Matthews, layup up and good for Drew. Left side, Osmondson, gives it to Condit, Sean. Pump fake on the three, right back over to Drew, lob it down low to Wegg. Wegg, look at it back down, Manley, stops, kicks out, Drew Osmondson fires a three, hits! It's an eight from the strike, too. Here's Delmore, no look pass, there's Wegg with a nice reverse layup. Ryan crossing over, attacks in the paint, dumps it down, Mitch Wegg, good take, layup, go! That. Cup down the block, Wegg, power dribble over Steinbron, finishes with the left hand. Hands off Brueggemann on the left wing, Ryan, couple dribbles, dumps it into Wegg, Wegg spins left, hangs in the air, shot is up and good. Dead yes. off the back rim and fell in. Attack, wraps around to Wegg, foul, bucket, go! As he goes into Brueggemann, Brueggemann hands off to Condon, Condon all the way down the right side, dumps it into Wegg, little jump hook, kiss off the glass is good for Mitch Wegg. On the right side, stutter steps, dumps it down, Wegg, Wegg spinning in the paint, fade away, four footer is good. To Schaefer handed off Brueggemann, Brueggemann to Wegg, give and go, left layup, go! Touch, Kata tries to save it, goes into the hands of Condon, quickly onto the left block, and then another pass to Wegg. Oh, you gotta love that. One shot of his career high. As, uh, Anderson had the ball booked away, stolen by Schaefer. Schaefer. Looking to attack left side to a trailer. Condon, he'll fire three left wing up and gone for Sean Condon. Oh, coming up the floor, Brugman trying to cut it off and he pokes it away. Now it's loose. Ryan dives it ahead, pokes it ahead to Schaefer. Schaefer stops, fires over left baseline. Condon, pump fake on the three. He'll launch it something. Oh! Asking for a screen from Bartlett. Sean. Stutter steps, puts up an absolute tough shot, and splashes it right in the face of John Fuqua. Fantastic, this kind of 
sifted his way underneath before they let a foul go on each side. There is now a con and somehow forces one up and in over Mossberg. Lee hands off to Condon. Sean splits it, goes right at Shable. Shot is good. Welcome back to the RA facility. Time to take a look at your starting lineups. At 13 and 6, the Gritty Maverick squad would be a big challenge for the young Mustangs, even at home. Backdoor cut, there's Brueggemann, shovels it to Wegg. Shot up, blocked, got his own shot back, puts it back up, and in. It's just willed that baby. Schaefer here on the right side. He'll spot up. He'll fire a deep three. That's good for Taylor Schaefer. Well, here he is. Baseline goes up for the layup. Shot no good. Kirk put back no good. Got his own board. Puts it back up and in. West stops. Gives it to Carter. Kirk. Carter looks down low. Not there. Brueggemann over to the right. Schaefer. Schaefer. He'll fire a three right wing. That's up and good for Taylor Schaefer. Picked up by Brueggemann. Brueggemann in the front court here. Mavericks recover beautifully, so not really a fast break. Now bounces to Carter, goes up for the dunk, and one! What a dish and finish by the, the dunk by Carter Kirk set off a firestorm of Mustang offense, led by senior Sean Condon, who made a season-high 10 field goals and finished with 27 points. Kicks out Condon, asking for a screen from Bartlett. Sean stutter steps, puts up an absolute tough shot, and splashes it right in the face of John Fuqua. I mean, we came in tonight, you know, knowing we were going to give it our all, and shots started falling tonight. And, uh, you know, we had a great week of practice, so, I mean, a lot of it was preparation, um, putting in the work, and uh, it showed tonight. We were coming every day, putting in effort, working as hard as we can from the, everyone from the top down, and no one had an answer, but we just kept working hard, kept, kept doing the little things, and we get a big win like this. Oh, I love it. We got a ton of weapons out there that can shoot it. We got posts that can score it. We can score from all three levels, so guys just sink in. You just got to give them the ball and watch them. Watch Sean go to work tonight. <laughs> just go sit in the corner. And, yeah, you know, there you go. <laughs> I think definitely as a whole whole group, we're kind of starting to settle in. And really, we're a young team. We're pretty young, so we're starting to get our roles and know what it takes night in and night out, and it's been good. They've been putting in the time throughout the week with getting extra shots, the, the weights, the film sessions, the – and obviously very physical practices as well. And um, if you ever earn one, I guess this might be the one where we've, we, we definitely put a lot of effort in to, to give us a chance to earn this one. In the end, it resulted in an 85-71 to 71 Mustang victory. In addition to Condon's 27, Carter Kirk added 14, while Taylor Schaefer and Ryan Brueggemann each chipped in 10, showing the Mustang's future is bright. Uh, my favorite memory was from the Upper Iowa game. We uh, didn't come out too hot against them. We were down, uh, I think, like 17 in the second half. Uh, with probably, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes left, maybe even a little under that. I had the ball with, I don't know, probably 50 seconds left, and I like threw up, threw up a floater from like 15 feet. And someone just coach, like when coach stops practice, he just throw it up there. Hope it goes in, and we did that when the shot clock was running down and went in, and just showed that uh, we stuck together as a team. And uh, I know Taylor Schaefer got hot and kept us in that one, hit a couple of threes. But uh, uh, yeah, coming back against uh, Upper Iowa at their place, uh, kind of stunning their crowd after they were all kind of thinking this one was over, uh, was was definitely a, a fun a fun time. Um, I would have to say playing at the barn against the Gophers. Um, I've always been a Gophers fan my entire life, and uh, I remember watching them go to the Final Four in '98. Just grew up watching them, and I've always been a fan of them. It's just being there and playing in that atmosphere with all the fans there is something special. I'll never forget. And I mean, we we played hard. Um, we hung with them for a little bit, and uh, that was just really special. It was something that that I'll always remember. My favorite memory was probably going to Denver. Um, as much as the bus ride kind of sucked, it was fun just hanging out with the team and hanging out with the guys for five days in a row and being in a nice hotel and getting a nice breakfast in the morning. Our Thanksgiving stay meal in Denver where we just got to hang out, all be together, is watch football, eat a good meal. It was, it was pretty fun. Um, my favorite memory from this year has to be when we were down in Denver when 
Uh, Taylor made a no look pass to Josh for a dunk that just set us over the edge. So. First scrimmage of the year, we went to Dort and uh, getting pizza to go, and <laughs> Nick went and got it. I was checking his pockets left and right, and he finds out that he lost the credit card. And we flipped the fan upside down trying to look for that thing. Nick and Tram got into it because if it would have been in Tram's hands, he would have never lost it, blah, blah, blah. And Tram was all mad. Luckily, we were able to find it just sitting in the, I think it was the Pizza Hut parking lot, so we got a little lucky there. And then Tram locked the keys in the van when we were out in Denver, and Tram tried to hide it because Nick and Tram both have a little competition between each other, I think. And Tram didn't want to let anybody know that he locked it. He thought he could get the keys out before anybody figured it out, but we all found out anyway. My favorite memory from a coach this year is uh, uh, one time uh, Bigler and Tram both had to be gone. Uh, for a workout, so Nick got to run it, and uh, when Nick has all the power, he seems to let it go to his head, so we did a lot of extra stuff. Just because it was Nick, we had to give him a little bit of crap for it, because uh, that was something he said he would never do, and it's exactly what he did. Uh, biggest lesson I learned this year is that it just goes by fast. Time flies, that this stuff, it's not forever, and it, it, and it goes, goes so fast. Don't take this stuff for granted. Um, um, it just seems like yesterday I was, you know, doing redshirt workouts with Mitch and Cole and Drew and Travis. In our conference, and nothing's going to be handed to you. You have to work for everything. Just because you have all this talent on one team doesn't mean that it's all going to come together. I mean, you have to really work. You just gotta, you gotta embrace it, uh, work hard with it, and uh, know that not everybody gets this chance. Man, child. Energetic. Excitable. Spaz. Psycho. Passionate. Driven. Old. A old. Old. Grandpa. Um, so we bought the new Call of Duty game, and on the new Call of Duty game you can run up walls and stuff, and we were going upstairs to hang out with Turner, Ryan, and Colin, and Sean for some reason thought he could run up a wall. <laughs> so. He tried to run up, he got a running start of course, he tried to run up the wall, left two huge shoe marks on it and fell down and the shoe marks are still on our wall to this day. There's a lot of stories about Sean, um, but one of my favorites was uh, after we had a shoot around, I don't know where we were, but we um, consolidated into two different rooms and the room that I was in, Sean was in as well, he couldn't find like a pair of socks and he was blaming it on everybody. So I took his hat <laughs> and hit it, and he was literally screaming for like five minutes straight, wondering where is his hat. And then once he wasn't looking, I just like threw it back in his bag and like, it's right there, Sean. And we were just like, giving him a hard time. And he was like, his head was just spinning. It was just Sean being Sean. It was super funny. Probably my redshirt freshman year, so Nick's senior year. Nick and Zagger senior year and Sean was living with Zagger at the time and we had 6 a.m. conditioning and Zagger walks in just laughing. Usually at that time, I mean, it's 5.30 in the morning so everyone's just dead tired and Sean walks in and he is just amped up and furious and we're like, what's, what's wrong, Sean? And Zagger immediately uh, tells us that uh, there was a bat in their living room in the morning as they woke up and uh, Sean got out a tennis racket to try and hit it down and bring the tennis racket back, swing through, smack the bat and swing all the way through and broke his brand new uh, plasma screen TV, like a 45 inch and he was just furious. The that was, that's probably the best story I got, Sean. Uh, it's gotta start with my parents. Um, they have been unbelievable. Um, my dad has not missed, or my dad missed one collegiate game, my first one, and my mom has not missed one. And ever since then, they have traveled to wherever we go, um, been to the games an hour early. Uh, I always get little goodie bags, you know, for the way home. Um, they've been unbelievable. Um, my fiance, there were a lot of times this year where I'd complain to her about how sore and tired I was because I was getting old, but. Uh, She's the one who told me, hey, you wanted to come back and do this, so you better toughen up. Um, 
all my coaches, high school coach Gary Nelson, AU coaches, all the coaches I've had here, um, Coach Bigler, Brooks McCowan, Chad Welk, uh, Travis Carroll, Tramel, Nick, Joel Wallace, all those guys were really, they really had an impact on me, not only as a basketball player, but as a person. Um, Laura, the trainer, oh man, she's put countless hours into taking care of my old body. It's uh, every day she just, I mean, you walk in there and it doesn't matter how your day's going, but she's smiling and uh, that's something that I always appreciate about her. Um, anyone who is affiliated with this athletic program, I mean, it's top of the notch. I've never had a bad experience with Mustang Athletics. Um, everybody's so supportive from sport to sport, from athlete to athlete. It's, uh, it's something really special and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I know I said Coach, Coach Bigler already, but I, I can't, I don't think he'll ever know what it meant to me to get this opportunity. Um, like I said, after my first year, I thought about just hanging it up and going home. Um, but I asked him if, you know, I had a chance, and he said, yeah, and that's all you could ask for is a chance, and he gave that to me. Um, and he's been there for me ever since, and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, my favorite, well, not favorite, uh, a coaching memory I had, or I can, uh, I had, I don't want to say it like that, that just sounds stupid, just the start. Um, I just realized I can push myself as hard as you can, and um, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I don't know, that's a bad one. I don't know where I'm going with this. Do you want to go back to it? We can come back to it. Yeah, let's go back to it. Yeah, no, I know, I know, but I don't yeah, know. Like, uh, I'm trying to get 25 wins, or you know what I'm saying, but...